on 2nd of August 2020 at Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900 after departure from Philadelphia reported about gear retraction problem and requested return back. And departure Delta 2033, 3000 for 5000. We have a uh, landing gear malfunction and we'll probably have to return to the airport. We'll uh, advise you in a few moments. All right, Delta 2033 departure, your radar contact. When you have a chance to say the nature of the issue, let me know if you're declaring an emergency. And for now, just turn right heading of 030. Right turn at 030. And our landing gear will not retract and we'll advise you in a second. Delta 2033. And uh, departure Delta 2033, can you just remain at 3000? Delta 2033, affirmative, whatever altitude you need and whatever else we can do for you, sir. Um, turn right heading of 070. Right turn 070, Delta 2033. Departure Delta 2833, is this uh, heading out that is going to be okay to go back uh, around for 27 right? Delta 2833, affirmative, you can. Uh, you expect runway 27 left, runway 27 left for the uh, arrival, and this will be your downwind. Okay, 27 left. Thank you very much. So 2833, turn right, heading 0, 09 or 0. 33. Delta 2833, our gear is just, uh, it won't uh, retract, our uh, gear is down a lot, we're a uh, negative emergency at this time. Okay, uh, Delta 2033, I did copy that, uh, w whenever stuff like this happens here, they're going to handle you as an emergency, so I do need the fuel uh, remaining in uh, pounds or gallons and uh, the number of souls on board. Uh, 800 uh, pounds on board. And 111 uh, souls on board for Delta 2833. Delta 2833, Roger. Uh, just to confirm, you can expect the visual approach to runway 27 left to come back in. And uh, do you need any more time, or if I turned your base in about uh, 10 miles, would that be okay? Yeah, another uh, 10 miles would be great for Delta 2833. Okay, Roger. Delta 2833, we can uh, turn that inbound any time now. Delta 2833, Roger. Uh, we're just getting one more in in front of you. Uh, you can start the base now, the right heading of 150. And right turn to 150, Delta 2833. Twenty thirty three, right heading 240, general localizer. Right turn 240, general localizer, Delta 233. Delta 2033, would you prefer the ILS or the visual, sir? Uh, visual approach is fine for Delta 2033. Okay, Delta 2033, you can advise Philadelphia Airport in sight uh, whenever you can, 12 o'clock and 20 miles. In sight for Delta 2033. Delta 2033, clear visual approach, runway 27 left. Clear visual approach, 27 left, Delta 2033. Delta 2033, the tower is 135.1, see ya. 135.1, Delta 2033. Delta 2833, we're 14 miles out of the visual for 27 left. Delta 2833, Philly wind 23012, room 27 left, clear to land. Clear land 27 left, and uh, our plan is to uh, taxi clear. Is there any area where you want to do that? Delta 2833, you can exit wherever you like, um, and just let me know what you want to do after you clear, if you want to keep moving to your gate, if you want to stop for a second and check things out. Okay, welcome. Power, stay with Wind at 230 at 11. Delta 2833, if able, join taxiway Zulu and then a right turn Kilo if you want to stop, just let me know. And Delta 2833, we would just like to go into the middle of the uh, DI's pad and stop and have the chief uh, check out the landing gear if able. So the 2033, I can't send you into the ice pad only because I don't control that area and they're moving airplanes around. I'm not sure what the plan is there, but you can stop on taxiway Zulu. And uh, do you need to? Have, do you want to have a vehicle inspection on the uh, on the gear? 
Yeah, I think it would be great. Uh, yeah, I think it's just inspect the uh, landing gear. Okay, Delta 2833, you can stop anywhere there on taxiway Zulu, short of Kilo. Anywhere short of Kilo, you can stop the aircraft and uh, just let me know when you want to proceed. And uh, you do have some airport vehicles I can assist if you need them to. Okay.